What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at what I would consider kind of a nice luxury uh, setup for your uh, charging needs, okay, especially for Qi charging, MagSafe charging, uh, stuff like that, and this is kind of going to fit into, I'm going to try to redo the tech in my master bedroom, and I do believe that that is going to warrant a video of its own um, once I get everything set up and um, how I like it. So I wanted to bring you this little piece, um, the Amagat, I'm guessing, Amagat, Amagat, I think that's a G. Um, they reached out to the show and they said, hey, would you like to check out our uh, charging uh, stand? I'm like, sure, let's take a look at it. I don't say yes to everything, but this one here caught my eye. And so I decided I'd bring it to you guys and um, take a look at it. Because it is Qi 2. So it, it, it's not messing around. It has some power behind it. And it's a 3-in-1 charger, which I like. Uh, right now, I have a flat um, setup. So I have to lay my, my phone down, my Apple Watch down, um, kind of in a weird position for it. And then uh, no, no really place for the AirPods Pro. So this actually brings everything in one and fast charging with the Qi 2. So again, fast wireless charge, um, fast charge your Apple Watch, and strong magnetic force, again, three in one, and an adjustable viewing angle. So it also puts your iPhone in that night mode, uh, you know, kind of an away mode. Um, I love that, especially at hotels and stuff. Now this isn't gonna be, I don't think, my, my mobile setup. Um, I already got that handled pretty good with an Anchor product. Um, but uh, yeah, this is definitely a worthy competitor for the nightstand. Or, you know, even if you don't wanna put it on the nightstand, you could put it on your uh, desk setup and uh, rock it there. So we have basically our power, USB cable, and a little wall wart. So let's chuck the cardboard to recycle. And if you're wondering, yes, I recycle. And then we've got the actual device itself. And I think, let's make sure, a lot of packaging in here. Got a manual. I believe that is everything. Yes, just a lot of uh, filler cardboard. There you go. Gotta work on being a little more carbon friendly, right? Okay, so we get two little user manuals, pretty good length USB-C to C cable, and then our wall charger here. Um, you know, not necessarily needed, just depends on what you're plugging in the USB-C cable to, right? Then we've got our stand. Um, very, very nice. It's got nice rubber uh, platform here, so that's not going to go anywhere. We have our Apple Watch charger on top, and yes, it is built in. Therefore, you do not need to, if I can get this little cover off of it, I have to have my newt fingernails, but it is actually uh, protected. There you go, see? All right, we got a protection there. This one doesn't fare that well. Okay, so we've got a little LED here. We plug in our uh, charger in the back. We've got again our Apple Watch, our MagSafe, and our little AirPod spot. And what's nice about this is it is completely adjustable, as you can see. Maybe just doesn't go left and right, just an up and down tilt, which is fine. If you got two or three pillows and you sleep high, or maybe you sleep down low, um, you can adjust that a little bit. It does not go left and right. It is strictly a tilt up and down display or adjustment. So let's go ahead and plug it in and get to the specs real quickly. Show you what kind of uh, output it has and how it actually does with the Apple ecosystem. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the Apple ecosystem, although I'm pretty sure, um, you know, the Apple Watch is pretty proprietary on this kind of charger. So, you know, unless you've got some MagSafe stuff, you can definitely use MagSafe and Qi, but the top, you know, it's, it's kind of an Apple fanboy kind of thing, it looks like. So, sorry, Androiders, 
this is more for the Apple ecosystem. So let's pause the video, come back, and we'll give you some specs and a little demonstration and wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So we have it fully loaded up here, as you can see. Really, really looks good. Got a nice spot on top for the Apple Watch. Just set it on there. If you got one of those all-in-one bands that the uh, is just with a complete band that doesn't come apart in the middle, still works. Just get it put on there. You can do your I, uh, iPhone in either mode. So if we want to hold it like this, we can. But I highly recommend there you get the official MagSafe charging piece, or if you want to turn it sideways and then have it go into that uh, kind of display mode. And then, of course, we can put our AirPods or any really Qi 2 charging wireless thing down here. And you can see the little LED comes on. So, looks really, really good. So, I approve of this little stand. Let's talk about the outputs that each dev uh, device is going to get. So, the phone magnet <clears throat> right here is 5 watt to 15 watt max. Okay, so it's going to run the gambit, and it's going to be based on, of course, how much charge is left in your phone, what kind of safety measures you've got for your battery, do you want it to feel fully charged, do you not want to fully charge your battery to prolong the life. So you're going to be running from 5 watts to 15 watts max. The watch up top is 5 watts, and the earphone down here is exactly 5 watts as well. So... There you have it, a nice little bedside uh, setup or desk setup, however you want to look at it. If you want the official model number of this guy, it is LCQ3110. I'll have the link in the show notes. The input is USB-C, 5 volts, and it's from 3 amps to 9 volt, 3 amps to 12 volt, 2.5 amps. So again, based on whatever the draw, that's going to be your input range. And... Um, Dimensions wise, uh, it is 10.07 ounces, so it is very, very light. Okay, that's also 285.4 grams. So, uh, if you like ounces or grams, there you go. And uh, the overall um, height, uh, let's see, it looks like it's 154 by 102 by 102 millimeters. Um, or that's 0 0.51 inches by 0 0.33 inches by 0 0.33 inches. So, uh, you know, not overly uh, big, which is great. That's what you want. And that, my friends, is a wrap. So, this looks like something you would like to have in your setup, in your bedroom. Um then definitely check the link in the show notes, and I'll have that, and a little more information in the show notes, too, if I didn't cover it here. I try to put all the extra in the show notes, but definitely check it out. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Hit that little notification bell, and you'll get notified when we release new content. Highly recommend. Tons of stuff coming out, especially with the iPhone 16, so stay tuned. A lot of good stuff coming. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.